I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. We just got another printer to add to our mini print farm. This one is the Elegoo Mars 3. We're not unboxing this, but we're gonna show you how to level a resin printer. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> So let's get this printer assembled and ready to level. So now we're going to level the build plate. The first thing we want to do is we want to take off our resin vat. Now be careful with these thumb screws, they only give you two, so if you lose one, that's going to be it. We're just putting these over here, keep them nice and safe. We're going to take off our resin vat. We are going to place it up. We don't want to place it down on anything because if you scratch the film or you dent the film or you rip the film, you're going to have to replace the film, which if you do do that and you need a tutorial, we do have a video on that. So please check that out if you do need to replace your film. Next, we're going to take our build plate and we're going to loosen these two bolts with the Allen key that uh, came with it. Now, I mean, you could use any Allen key, really, but we're just gonna loosen this up. Now, you want it to be really loose, like where you could shake it. And what we're gonna do is now we're going to attach it to the printer itself. Okay, we're just gonna slide it in and we're gonna tighten that. Now, we're gonna use the controls on the front of the printer in order to level the bed. So there are many ways to level a bed. We're gonna use a piece of plain copy paper. Now we're just gonna stick it here. We're gonna go into the tool section. We're gonna hit manual, and then we're gonna hit home. And you'll see the plate is gonna lower to the home position. Now, as you can see, there's it's pretty tight, right? I like it where it's a little bit loose. Some people actually do level where it's tight like this. I like where I can pull it out. So what I'm gonna do, but very snugly pull it out, I'm gonna hit the 0 .10, 0, sorry, the 0 .10 millimeters, and I'm gonna go up one. Now, I should be able to slide my paper out. It's snug and it slides out. I'm gonna hold the build plate as you saw, when I pull the paper out, and now I'm gonna tighten these bolts. Okay, now I'm gonna go back one, and I'm gonna hit set to zero. And it's gonna ask me to confirm, I'm gonna confirm. Now, I am gonna go back one, I'm gonna raise this up. Tools, manual and I'm gonna hit my 0.10 and I'm gonna raise this up. And that's gonna give me room to get my vat underneath it. Now that we have the bed leveled, we're gonna actually put our vat back on it. Oops, and we just pulled that off. We're just removing this film that's on here real quick. And we're gonna put this back in. We're going to put our thumb screws back. There are many ways to level the bed, like I said. I like using the paper method and making it really snug where I could slide it out. Other people like it where they can't remove the paper. And other people still, what they do is they do a test print. And when the print starts the first layer, they turn the printer off and they lock down the printer. And then what happens is that will leave it in place and then they will set that to zero. Um, like I said, you know, my favorite way and the way I find it prints the best is paper with a little bit of snugness. And now we're ready to run off our first test print on this printer. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to level a bed on resin 3D printers. This was on the Elegoo Mars 3. This is a really great printer if you're interested in getting into resin printing. We are just adding this one into our mini print farm that we have. If you want other videos on 3D printing or interested in technology, make sure you like and follow Make or Build It. Until next time, keep on making.